Hello, Angel. Nikola Tesla, a name resonating through the ages like a symphony of innovation, vision, and a profound connection with the mysteries of the universe. While many know Tesla as a brilliant inventor whose contributions shaped the modern world, there is a deeper narrative that transcends the bounds of conventional science and delves into the depths of spirituality. Born in a small village in present-day Croatia in 1856, Tesla early on demonstrated an uncommon fascination with the world around him. His mind, a temple of curiosity, delved into the mysteries of nature, seeking to understand the secrets behind the veil of physical reality. His journey towards spiritual enlightenment began long before his technological innovations. While many know him as the father of alternating current and one of the pioneers of electricity, few realize that Tesla was tuned into a deeper source of inspiration. His mind was not confined solely to the tangible world, he delved into the depths of the collective unconscious, exploring the realms of spirit and universal energy. For Tesla, electricity was not just a physical phenomenon, it was a manifestation of the divine, an expression of the creative power of the universe. In his relentless pursuit of understanding, Tesla saw electricity as a means of connecting the earthly and celestial realms, a bridge between the material and the ethereal. His spiritual vision led him to conceive not only revolutionary technological devices but also to explore the mysteries of the human mind and cosmic consciousness. He believed in the existence of subtle energies that permeate the universe, invisible to the eyes but palpable to those attuned to higher frequencies. Tesla was not just a scientist, he was a visionary, a modern-day shaman, seeking to unravel the secrets of the universe and share his knowledge with humanity. His mind was a portal to dimensions beyond rational understanding, where the laws of physics bowed to the will of the spirit. In his quest for ultimate truth, Tesla embraced solitude and isolation, delving into the depths of his own soul in search of answers. He understood that true wisdom does not reside in books or academic theories, but rather in direct connection with the source of all creation. Tesla aspired to a future where science would be employed for the authentic progress of humanity, as he expressed by stating that peace could only be achieved through universal enlightenment. That was his main intent. Many believe he abandoned some of his projects because he realized that humanity was not yet ready, likening us to innocent children. He recognized that if we had unrestricted access to the technology he developed, it would be like handing nuclear weapons to children. However, he understood that this paradigm shift needed to occur. Currently, we are positioned in the controlled energy paradigm, aspiring to reach the free energy paradigm. However, there is an intermediary space, a transitional phase, where these changes have not yet fully materialized. That is where we find ourselves now. What we wish to see realized is the free energy paradigm. This is the stated goal of the free energy movement and the new technology community. However, it is important to recognize that the transformations we seek do not happen instantly in our world. We need to take actions for events to materialize, and the true forces behind this process are not only tangible. It requires undergoing mental changes to pave the way for the spiritual manifestation of this phenomenon. Spiritualists and members of the New Age community refer to this as a paradigm shift, an expression that, in a way, is nebulous, never fully defined in these communities. But what does this paradigm shift really entail? It is essentially a consciousness transformation that humanity needs to experience to manifest free energy in the physical world. 
This involves understanding what it truly means to be a conscious individual, being awake to the knowledge of the hidden world, recognizing aspects of the higher self, and understanding that the physical and spiritual planes are not separate but interconnected. It also involves mentally freeing oneself from religious dogmas or illusory belief systems, understanding that knowledge, no matter how challenging it may seem, is never negative. It is also about recognizing the current condition of humanity as a form of slavery and understanding the causes that have led to this state. Knowing that so-called negative emotions serve a crucial purpose and understanding that enlightenment does not consist of seeking happiness while being immersed in the world's suffering. Finally, it is about truly understanding the meaning of forgiveness and discerning between what is immutable and what needs to be transformed. Here are the fundamental elements of the paradigm shift that are absolutely essential for the emergence of free energy in our society. It's crucial to understand the hidden knowledge, which has been kept away from our understanding, as well as to comprehend the hidden spirituality and the laws of the spiritual reality in which we live. Why hasn't this paradigm shift occurred yet? Well, here's the hard part to accept, most people still rely on conventional media and its commentators, believing they are being informed with the truth. Unfortunately, this is still true for the majority of people nowadays. They still believe that the purpose of the educational system is to enrich and enlighten people with authentic knowledge. Moreover, many still believe that institutions like religion, banks, medicine, law enforcement, the military, and others exist to fulfill their supposed stated missions. However, I assure you that these institutions exist for the opposite of what they claim. That's why the paradigm shift hasn't happened yet, that's why we're stuck in the controlled energy paradigm and won't be able to break free from it until we rid ourselves of these false belief systems. Free energy will not manifest until we change our own belief systems and stop believing in concepts based on violence, coercion, deceit, and ignorance. Many people in the free energy movement still don't understand the true meaning of freedom. They think it's just about not paying for something, when in fact a free energy system needs to be grounded in a world where true human freedom is valued, something that few truly understand. This is the current situation of our world, which is essentially imprisoned and deteriorating further. The reason for this is our erroneous belief in authority based on violence and coercion. If you disagree with this, then I would say you are quite naive and haven't deeply examined the complexities involved. In the past, in ancient world structures, there was an idea of authority concentrated in a single individual who ruled over everyone else. As you descended this chain of command, or as I prefer to call it, the chain of obedience, you found more ignorance, while at the top there was total power and knowledge, formerly called royalty. It was considered moral at the time, just as it is now or could be in the future. However, today we've been led to believe we have something different when, in fact, it's essentially the same thing, authority vested in a few, resulting in hegemony and oligarchy. Government is basically this, except the power of an individual has been dispersed to a select group constituting a ruling class. Most people who clamor for free energy are those who are actually obstructing its manifestation due to the way they continue to think. Our thoughts shape our reality, and if we don't change our way of thinking, it's impossible for free energy to manifest, as we'll remain trapped in the same paradigm of the current state. The vast majority of people are trapped in a state of controlled thinking, unable to even consider possibilities for humanity due to their limiting beliefs and worldview. We can sugarcoat this with euphemisms, 
just as slavery was called governance, but it's essentially mind control. We're being manipulated by social engineers who keep us imprisoned in a false belief paradigm based entirely on violence, coercion, deceit, ignorance, greed, usury, and exploitation. This certainly isn't the future Tesla envisioned for humanity. Many of us look to some kind of leader who tells us we want change, and we're all eager to move forward and support that. As soon as it's explained that substantial change in human minds and hearts is necessary for this transformation to occur, we understand that we ourselves need to change. It's imperative that we undergo a fundamental shift in our belief systems, both in our mental and spiritual aspects. However, few people are willing to do so. A world driven by free energy can only arise as a result of a universal paradigm shift in human consciousness. Nikola Tesla's final words are not widely publicized or clearly documented, as he passed away alone in his hotel room. However, he sent a letter to his mother expressing his dismay, all these years I've devoted to the service of humanity have brought me nothing but insults and humiliations. Tesla's ultimate statement remains shrouded in mystery, representing an enigmatic epilogue to the life of one of humanity's greatest visionaries. Though his final thoughts weren't publicly documented, one can imagine they reflected the passion of a lifetime devoted to advancing science and the well-being of humanity. Perhaps it was a final contemplation of the unexplored opportunities he left behind. Tesla was, in many ways, ahead of his time, dreaming of a world energized by clean and accessible sources. He advocated for free and borderless energy, revealing in heartfelt letters to his mother a deep connection with Earth and the skies. Tesla saw the universe not just as a vast machine to be deciphered, but as a poem to be appreciated. In his correspondences, he shared his hopes, struggles, and his vision of a world unified by mutual understanding and respect. However, this was a world he feared he might never see realized. The reason Tesla was silenced is complex, intertwined with progress, power, and greed. He wasn't a businessman in the traditional sense, his drive wasn't to amass wealth but to enrich the world with his innovations. In an era dominated by magnates and monopolists, Tesla's ideas posed a direct threat to the status quo. Challenging the profits and power established by fossil fuel-based industries and centralized energy distribution systems, Tesla envisioned a system that would allow wireless transmission of energy, free for all, like the air we breathe. This vision was subversive, representing a direct threat to the financial interests of those who controlled energy production and distribution at the time. The system preferred and favored the more commercial, while Tesla sought a revolution not only technological but social and economic as well. Tesla's silencing was a gradual process of marginalization. His patents and theories were relegated to the shadows, his contributions overshadowed by the glares of his more marketable contemporaries. Yet even in obscurity, Tesla's light didn't completely fade. His ideas remained as seeds planted in the fertile soil of human imagination, waiting for the right moment to sprout. Today, we look back at Nikola Tesla's life and legacy not just as a series of inventions and scientific discoveries, but as a testament to what it means to dream freely. Tesla taught us that humanity's greatest achievements don't come from the pursuit of profit but from the tireless pursuit of knowledge, understanding, and harmony with the world around us. In a world still grappling with issues of energy, sustainability, and equity, Tesla's visions seem more relevant than ever. Perhaps, in the end, 
Tesla's true power doesn't reside in the inventions he created but in the inspiration he offers for future generations. He is a beacon of possibilities in a world eager for change. Thanks for staying with me. What are your thoughts and feelings about all of this? Share them in the comments. Let's grow together, and remember, free yourself through knowledge, transform yourself through perception. Do you want to manifest the reality of your dreams and activate your spiritual DNA? There is a science-based technique that works for you to manifest your desires. Click on the link pinned in the comments here of this video and start your journey of pure transformation today.